Hello my dear students and friends. Welcome back to my session on Arduino in 21 days. We are in day 6. In today's session, we will see about some more extension from the last uh, previous day's session. Pre last day, yesterday, uh, we saw about uh, 16 by 2 LCD display program with ICT interface alone. Now, uh, some uh, viewers asked me because that was an endless loop actually. So I will show that uh, program, the day 5 program, this loop will run endlessly. So many uh, viewers asked me how to uh, display this only once or some number of times instead of endless. So for that I will be, uh, I, I, I have added this session actually, right? So with inputs, we can uh, control it uh, instead of uh, endless, instead of endless loop, it will ask once you press the button, input button, that time alone, the, the it will be displayed, the text will be displayed. So all the things will be common, okay. So I used Nano LCD display and this uh, I2C module, uh, if you use this one, I think uh, only these two channels are sufficient for me, okay, A4 and A5 inputs in uh, uh, the Arduino, okay. So now, I will be introducing two push, push buttons here, okay. Button 1, uh, I will show you the program. If switch 1 or the button 1 is pressed, switch 1 pressed, M. Sandil Kumar will be displaying. Otherwise, if switch 2 is pressed, Sys2 pressed, friends and students will be displayed, okay. So it will be permanent, it will be permanent, okay. So I have uh, the, uh, in, instead of a push button, I have a toggle switch only uh, because since we are, we are all in uh, lockdown period, you know. So I am not able to purchase any uh, push button or a tactile button uh, from the shop, all shops are closed. So I had, uh, I have only uh, this kind of button actually. So this kind of push button. It is not a push button, it is a push button only, but it's a toggle button. If you press once, it is on. If you press again, it will be off. So not a calling bell type uh, button, not a tactile button, micro switch or micro button, right? So this is the diagram, okay? So this is the uh, uh, nano, this is the uh, the LCD. So there are four wires. There are four wires. Okay. So the uh, orange, red, brown, black. Okay. So I think from here you can see the red is connected to plus five. Mm, this orange uh, maybe zero volt, ground volt. So one SDA to A4 and is a SCL to A5. So this is A4 and A5 connected. Let us, let us check the program now. Yeah, SDA to A4. So this is A4, this brown color is A4, the black color is A5, SCL, the SCL. Okay, so everything is connected. Now, this side, I used uh, two buttons, right? Two buttons. A button has uh, two ends. One end to be connected to 5 volt. So I took up, I, I, I made a parallel connection here. Uh, so five, one end is connected to uh, 5 volt. The other end, the first button is connected to D2. First button is connected to D2. The second button is connected to D3. Then one more thing you should keep in mind, whenever you use a, a potential free physical buttons, you should uh, uh, use a 10K resistor also, okay. So that is what is mentioned here, okay. So push button 1, one end connected to, connected to D2, other end 5 volt, then you have to short it with the 10K resistor also, one end of the resistor D2, other end D ground. Same for the button 2, button 2 D3. 1 end D3, other end 5 volt, 10 k resistor for this button to D3 ground. That's all. Then this is the Arduino program. 
okay now before that uh, seeing this Arduino program I show you the yesterday's program yesterday uh, we used uh, this is the initialization so once it is initialized then one, here you have to uh, initialize the LCD actually okay these are the header files then this is the setup block setter block initialization to be carried out in the for the LCD okay then the loop uh, program executes in the loop so the loop is uh, endless loop okay so what I did here is I added two inputs switch one that is corresponding to D2 this is the input button one assigned to D2 pin this is input button two assigned to D3 pin switch one is assigned to digital IO 2 switch to digital IO 3 so you have to initialize this also in the setup so you have to uh, assign whether the switch 1 and switch 2 are inputs or output you have to assign so pin mode switch 1 is input pin mode switch 2 is input so that's it then in the program I used a if statement here if I once uh, the switch 1 becomes high okay then the switch on first in the first line the second line M Sandil Kumar these two uh, uh, alphanumeric characters will be displayed this will be forever okay mm. otherwise if uh, switch 2 is uh, uh, switch 2 is pressed then first it has to clear it has to clear the previous screen the previous screen was switch 1 pressed M Sandil Kumar the text those two texts should be cleared so it is cleared here then new text is printed here displayed here switch to pressed friends and students that's it okay so generally uh, one more thing you make a note um, the potential free switches the push buttons tactile buttons whether the button is a minuscule size or even a macro size uh, it is a potential free uh, physical switches so normally uh, it is if it is off it is disconnected if it is on it is connected that means you get a high signal once it is pressed you get a high signal if it is pressed instead if you use a sensors like a touch sensor or a line sensor or any other sensors some uh, will be working as a low trigger some will be working as high trigger if it is a high trigger you have to use high if it is a low trigger type you have to type low instead of high okay that you should keep in mind okay so I think uh, these things uh, are not uh, available in even the net I see I am also I also learned everything from the browse just by browsing the net so I didn't un I, I did not undergo any trainings programs anywhere right I learned it on my own so even this kinds of uh, in, uh, information is uh, still it is not available it will be there so we are not uh, 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 searching the proper uh, uh, place okay the the ww is a version okay so what uh, we are searching is a minuscule even that minuscule sometimes we get sometimes we do not many times we will not get those information again i repeat here since we are using push button high is good instead if you are using a sensor some are low triggered some are high triggered high trigger means this will good low trigger means in place of high you type low now we'll see the the program running okay now let me play this one so this is the thing this power on once the power is on um, let me close this one so this is the program you know so the program is fused so this is for compiling and this is for this button is for um, uh, fusing the program onto the arduino so for that you have to ensure that you are using arduino nano uh, uh, there are three different types of nano boards are available so I have this one world world bootloader and at uh, times uh, I'll be I'll be using at mega 168 also the port you have to uh, you have to configure it, it, it will show the moment now you see I am seeing only com4 and 9 let me insert uh, my uh, Arduino board with the USB cable now I inserted okay now you see 
com8 one more com port is displayed so this is the port for uh, through which only i insert i i attach the arduino with my laptop so you have to choose this one so the port is very important after doing all these things only you have to compile you have to fuse the program you have to fuse the upload the program this is the button for upload okay now i uploaded everything so before after uploading uh, for the first run it will not display anything because uh, switch 1 and switch 2 both are not pressed you know so no display actually you will get a display only only if you start pressing any of the buttons now you see i'll explain now so now I, the video is running program is now i am about to press the button one now i press the button it is a, a, a toggle button i have to press and release so switch one press m sandil kumar let me press button two this one now i'm pressing it is a toggle switch press once and press twice switch to press friends and students again i press button one switch one pressed sandil kumar switch two pressed button two pressed friends and students okay so that is a program so the program is included here you can just uh, uh, copy from here you can copy the program and uh, you, you you paste it in your uh, 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 this time then again one more thing is sometime you may have to include the libraries required for each and everything see like uh, this liquid crystal i2c the wire uh, sometime it will be there sometime it may not be if it is not there you have to include those library even from the net you can get the libraries uh, and uh, as a zip file you can add those zip files okay search it and you can get it okay now i will be uh, giving you this uh, as a pdf file uh, as a link available under the description okay you, by clicking it you can uh, get this particular uh, pdf file uh, you can download this pdf file and you can uh, copy the program and you can paste it in your system and you can run it okay so uh, thank you so much uh, if you like uh, this particular my particular channel you please uh, subscribe my channel uh, tell this information to your friends and students uh, so then uh, they will also get some benefit out of it. Thank you.